Let's look at what's happened today on the stock market. Tesla is down $4.10, 1.68%, closed at 239.74. Post market, we seem to be down by six more cents. So let's look at what's happening right now. We are into a bullish channel. The price is climbing. At the same time, we are also coming down and we are going to get a resolution very soon. Within, within two, three, four, five days, we are going to see what is going to happen. So this is going to get a very exciting. We also have the FOMC that is meeting tomorrow and Wednesday. So we should be getting their decision on Wednesday as to whether or not they are going to raise, well, maintain the interest rates or are they going to lower them. So this will also have an impact in the stock markets. Tesla is showing it very well. We are going to converge and have a decision very soon. If we look at our indicators on Tesla, we have a stochastic at 72. The two lines of MACD are above zero. RSI is above 50. We have the MI that's bullish. The green line is above the red line. So the move up that we are having since the end of October is still a bullish move. We still are into this bullish channel. This is still bullish, but for now it is caving in onto this downward resistance that is part of this bearish channel. So we have a bearish channel and we have the bullish channel and a decision will be made very soon. Let's take a look at the VIX, the global indicator of the stock market, the fear factor of the stock market. So the VIX is uh, still down. We are up 0.29, 2.35%, closed at 12.64. But basically, we are right smack on our support. This is very low. The stock market should be going higher. In terms of the 10-year bond, we had a little bit of a move up recently without stochastic over 60. So this was not to be believed. And indeed, with what we are looking at today, we see that we have sellers that started coming in at 4.3%, pushing this thing down. In terms of the US dollar, we had a move up recently. We don't have stochastic over 60. We should not believe it yet. We should believe it after we start crossing 104.502. The Rivian is down 9 cents. So it's basically maintaining itself above uh, support at 18.77. We have a good stochastic. All of our indicators are positive. So we are pausing before 1953. This is a significant support and resistance. So we are having sellers that are there at this point. And so far, they have been preventing the stock to go higher. The buyers are not confident enough to push this further. So we are going to have to see if sellers are going to abdicate before the buyers. Xpeng, we are into a big congestion zone going up and down. Now we are bouncing on 15.57 a little bit. Maybe we are going to have another swing up to 19.22. If you want to play that little bit of a swing, I suggest that you go on the one hour chart and then wait until we cross this right here. We have some resistance right here. That was support in the past. So I'm talking about 16 bucks. So if we go above 16 bucks, uh, stochastic is already above 60. If we break 16 bucks, I will have more confidence that we are going to at least reach this point right here at 17 bucks, maybe a little bit further at 1730. If you want to catch a little bit of a swing. Neo, it's not ready yet. It's still going sideways. Cannot break 791. Vinfast cannot break 733. It's close, but it has not broken it. Apple is uh, pausing again. We had a nice move last Tuesday. Nice move. And now at 196.67, we start to cave in. Yeah. As soon as we break 196.67 for Tesla, this is going to be a big indication that things are moving higher. This is not too bad today either. Yeah, we are down 1.29%. This is not too bad. We have some buyers at the bottom right here with this long wick. Not everything is lost. Arm, a uh, big move yesterday. We are down 2% today, but look at this perfection. It sat right smack on 16, on 64.89. 64.89 smack on our support. Right now, this is support. This is picture perfect. The stock is behaving exactly according to our lines. 
And post-market, we seem to be a little bit higher for tomorrow. So uh, maybe this is just a bounce for a further move up. Palantir, it's still in its bullish channel. Uh, we see it here. The bullish channel is there. We came down recently and now we should bounce on this because this is how bullish channels work. So we have stopped on the support on last Wednesday and now we are bouncing a little bit. This is not the best candle. It's a red candle. We have a longer wick at the top indicating that sellers are right there. So to be more sure that we are going to bounce and start reaching the other side of the bullish channel, we should break 1842. NVIDIA is just going sideways and rebounding a little bit. We have no stochastics, so I don't believe this bounce yet. Let's look at our indices. So Dow Jones continuing, continuing. S&P also continuing quite strongly. This is very nice. We even have clear 4,600 that we reached July 27, but could not go any higher. So uh, this one, this one, I'm interested in, into this move right here. NASDAQ index uh, also uh, going higher. Let's look at gold. Gold is caving in. We just got outside of our bullish channel. And then we are pretty much outside of the congestion zone. We could have said that, okay, this is the support that we need to break. And this is the support that we need to break. This happened uh, last Friday. And uh, today we have a continuation and even a further break of another support at 1541. This is not looking too good for gold. And uh, basically, when gold is coming down, the stock market is coming up and the opposite. Most likely, the stock market is going to continue up. And the uh, silver has come back down to the channel support expected. Let's see if it bounces on it. Bitcoin uh, had a little bit of a drop, uh, drop 6%. These things happen with Bitcoin. This one is very volatile. Ripple, uh, Ripple also the same thing, bounced on the support and we have some work at the bottom. So buyers came in at least. Nouveau Mont Graphite, big two day. The last two days of last week were very strong. Now we are being stopped at the same place, 310. 310, we cannot break above 310. So let's wait until it breaks above 310 in order to get in. So uh, this week is going to be very interesting. So stay tuned. I do a video every single weekday. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.